Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be solving a requested question. Um, this question does involve the chemical reactions of organic molecules as well as their molecular shape. So, so we're going to be solving question six to be more specific and it's from the May-June 2017 variant two paper. So for question six, which reaction involves a decrease in the bond angle at a carbon atom? So decrease, it's pretty important. So what I thought we'd do is an elimination process. I'll take you through the four options that they have given us, and um, it's either going to be correct or wrong, and I'll explain why. So for bromoethane reflux with ethanolic sodium hydroxide, this is what's needed for a nucleophilic substitution reaction. But okay, let's get not get ahead of ourselves. So bromoethane is a halogenoalkane. It's an alkane that's basically connected or bonded to a halogen. Halogens are those elements that are found in group seven of the periodic table. This one is a primary halogenoalkane. When we have these two things, a halogenoalkane and a hydroxide, specifically a potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide, and it's reflexed, we have a nucleophilic substitution reaction. And because it is a primary halogenoalkane, we'll end up with an SN2 mechanism. So it looks something like this. I haven't drawn out the actual mechanism, but this is the ionic equation. So we have bromoethane. So again, we can draw it out over here. We will find at the bottom. So CH3, CH2, ethane again has two carbons and the bromine. It just substitutes one of the hydrogens. And like we know, carbon can form four bonds. So that's the reason why. And then we have OH minus, which is from the sodium hydroxide. All we have to do is substitute them. So this is what it looks like at the end. We have an ethanol, which is an alcohol with two carbons attached. Now, I've placed the chart here and if you haven't memorized it, that's okay. With practice, you will memorize it over time. So what we have right now is a tetrahedral. So number of bonds that carbon can form is four, and we don't have any lone pairs right now. So this is a tetrahedral. It has a bond angle of around 109.5. So this is what it looks like. This is ethanol. But bromine, if we add the bromine, it's the exact same thing. We haven't really changed anything. It's still the same bond that's being formed. So is there a decrease or an increase? There isn't, and hence why A is not an option. So then we move on to part B, methane in air, and we want complete combustion of that. So I just threw, um, I just wrote out the equation again, and I balanced it. So we have the same number of hydrogens on each side, same number of oxygen on each side, and same number of carbon on each side. So if we draw out CH4, we have a tetrahedral right here. If we draw out CO2, we have a linear shape. Um, I haven't drawn the lone pairs on the oxygen right now because that's not what's asked of us. What we need is to know the shapes of these molecules. So we're, what we're doing right now is going from 109.5 to 180. That's an increase. And they asked us in the question for a decrease. So then B is out. We go on to C and that's ethanol with heated concentrated sulfuric acid. Now this sulfuric acid will act as a dehydrating agent. It's going to remove water. Remember, just dehydration is, oh my god, I'm dehydrated, I need water, right? So it removes water, that's how you can remember it, and this is what it looks like. Again, we have ethanol, which is a tetrahedral shape, with the carbon right here, and instead of drawing out the other CH3, I just combined it together here. And then here we have ethene, which is an alkene, and alkenes in this form will form this shape, which has a 120 degree angle between each bond. This is a trigonal, if we go up here, it is a trigonal planar. Okay, so let's see what happened. That's still an increase. So C is not the option. So based off of elimination, D is your answer, but let's explain it. Polymerization of ethene. We're going from unsaturated to saturated. Unsaturated meaning it has double bonds or triple bonds. Non-saturated means all the bonds are single. So we have, again, here the trigonal planar shape, which is has an angle of 120 degrees between each bond. And we simply opened it up. We added, and it's just 
a number of ethene that's present so we can say like there's two of them for example or three or four or five or how many there are and then here's what's going to look like once we open it so what we do is we open up these bonds and then we'll end up with a bond here and a bond here and it looks like this at the end so we went from 120 to 109.5 degrees i just haven't drawn the accurate uh, shape of it but it's if you don't want to add any angles it's just a straight you know you can draw with straight lines like so right or again we can do the whole tetrahedral shape where it's like so but it's not necessary because we know what it is we know that the carbon in this case is going to form that shape and that is 109.5 so there's a decrease that means that d is your answer so that was it for this question i hope it makes sense if you guys have any other questions let me know and um if you have any requests also let me know i'll be checking comment sections and i mean i do pretty much reply as soon as possible so that's it for this video if you found it helpful give it a like and help me out so other people can see it if you believe your friends can benefit from it then share it with them and yeah subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye